Introduction. Welcome to today's lecture on the biochemistry of ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C. As medical students, it is crucial that you understand the intricate details of this important molecule, its absorption and transport, cellular uptake mechanisms, enzymatic and non-enzymatic reactions, as well as its role as a cofactor and antioxidant. We will also explore the biosynthesis of ascorbic acid, its recycling and regeneration, and its influence on collagen synthesis, immune system function, neurotransmitter synthesis, and overall neuronal function. Additionally, we will discuss the link between ascorbic acid deficiency and diseases like scurvy, and finally, the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of ascorbic acid in therapeutic applications. Absorption and transport of ascorbic acid are complex processes influenced by various factors. The primary site of absorption is the small intestine, primarily in the duodenum and jejunum. Once ingested, ascorbic acid is transported across the intestinal epithelial cells through both passive and active transport mechanisms. The active transport of ascorbic acid is facilitated by sodium-dependent vitamin C transporters, SVCTs, specifically SVCT1 and SVCT2, which are responsible for the uptake of ascorbic acid into the cells. Once inside the enterocytes, ascorbic acid can enter the bloodstream through facilitated diffusion via glucose transporters. Plasma ascorbic acid is mostly bound to proteins, particularly albumin, and is transported throughout the body to various tissues, where it exerts its functions. Within cells, ascorbic acid uptake involves different transporters, depending on the cell type and the concentration gradient. The SVCT2 transporter plays a significant role in ascorbic acid uptake in most cell types. However, certain cell types can also uptake ascorbic acid through glucose transporters, most notably GLUT1 and GLUT3. Furthermore, recent studies have identified the involvement of other transporters, such as the sodium-dependent glucose co-transporter 2, SGLT2, in the cellular uptake of ascorbic acid, particularly in renal cells. These various transporters ensure the availability of ascorbic acid in different cellular compartments, allowing it to fulfill its diverse functions. Ascorbic acid plays a vital role as a cofactor in numerous enzymatic reactions. It acts as an electron donor, facilitating the conversion of various compounds and enabling essential biochemical processes. Specifically, ascorbic acid acts as a cofactor in the hydroxylation of prolyl and lysyl residues during collagen synthesis, aiding in the maintenance of connective tissue health. Additionally, ascorbic acid acts as an antioxidant, protecting cells and tissues from oxidative damage by scavenging reactive oxygen species, ROS, and regenerating other antioxidants, such as vitamin E through its antioxidant capacity. Ascorbic acid prevents DNA damage, lipid peroxidation, and protein oxidation, thereby maintaining cellular homeostasis. The enzymatic reactions involving ascorbic acid are diverse and essential for various physiological processes. Notably, the hydroxylation of prolyl and lysyl residues in collagen synthesis is catalyzed by specific enzymes, requiring ascorbic acid as a cofactor. Another crucial enzymatic reaction involving ascorbic acid is the dopamine beta hydroxylase reaction which converts dopamine to norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter involved in the central and peripheral nervous systems. In contrast, non-enzymatic reactions of ascorbic acid with free radicals and reactive oxygen species contribute to its antioxidant properties. Ascorbic acid's ability to directly reduce oxidized compounds and neutralize free radicals helps maintain cellular redox balance, ultimately preserving cellular integrity. In the context of ascorbic acid, oxidation reduction reactions play a crucial role in maintaining the molecule's redox state. Ascorbic acid can undergo both reversible and irreversible oxidation reactions, depending on the conditions. The reversible oxidation of ascorbic acid leads to the formation of its semidehydroascorbic acid form, while further oxidation yields dehydroascorbic acid, which is considered a product of irreversible oxidation. The reversible nature of the ascorbic acid redox reactions allows it to act as both an antioxidant, by donating electrons, and as a reducing agent, by accepting electrons. While most animals lack the ability to synthesize ascorbic acid, plants and some animal species can produce this vital molecule. In plants, ascorbic acid biosynthesis occurs mainly through the L-galactose pathway, involving multiple enzymatic steps. This pathway begins with the conversion of glucose to L-galactose and further modifications lead to the formation of ascorbic acid. In contrast, for animals incapable of synthesizing ascorbic acid, it is an essential dietary component, obtained mainly from fruits, vegetables, and certain animal products. Understanding the biosynthetic pathways is crucial for comprehending the regulation and maintenance of ascorbic acid levels in various organisms. Ascorbic acid is a unique molecule that can be regenerated and recycled, allowing it to partake in multiple redox reactions. 
One of the significant pathways involved in ascorbic acid recycling relies on the action of dehydroascorbate reductases, which can convert dehydroascorbic acid back to ascorbic acid by utilizing electron donors such as glutathione. This recycling process ensures the continuous availability of ascorbic acid and helps maintain its cellular functions. The understanding of these recycling mechanisms becomes important in conditions where there may be a propensity for ascorbic acid depletion. Ascorbic acid plays a critical role in collagen synthesis, a process essential for maintaining connective tissue health. As a cofactor, ascorbic acid is involved in the hydroxylation of prolyl and lysyl residues within collagen precursor molecules, helping stabilize the triple helical structure of collagen. This stabilization is crucial for the strength and integrity of connective tissues such as skin, blood vessels, tendons, and bones. Deficiency of ascorbic acid can lead to impaired collagen synthesis, resulting in weakened connective tissues and contributing to clinical manifestations of scurvy, such as poor wound healing, bleeding gums, and joint pain. Ascorbic acid plays multifaceted roles in supporting the proper functioning of the immune system. It enhances the function and production of various immune cells, including neutrophils, natural killer cells, and lymphocytes. Ascorbic acid's antioxidant properties protect immune cells from oxidative stress, while also modulating the production of pro-inflammatory molecules. Additionally, ascorbic acid facilitates the synthesis of collagen, an essential component of immune cell membranes, aiding in their integrity and functionality. Understanding the interplay between ascorbic acid and the immune system sheds light on its immunomodulatory effects and potential therapeutic applications. Ascorbic acid is intimately involved in the synthesis of key neurotransmitters, such as norepinephrine and dopamine, by acting as a cofactor for dopamine beta-hydroxylase, an enzyme responsible for the conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine. These neurotransmitters play crucial roles in modulating neuronal function, mood regulation, and cognitive processes. Ascorbic acid's presence and regulation are essential for maintaining the optimal balance of these neurotransmitters, which can impact neurological disorders and mental health. Furthermore, Ascorbic acid's antioxidant properties protect neurons from oxidative stress, ensuring their normal function and overall neuronal health. Scurvy, historically known as a devastating disease among sailors, is primarily caused by a deficiency in ascorbic acid. The absence of ascorbic acid impairs collagen synthesis due to the inability to hydroxylate prolyl and lysyl residues, leading to the breakdown of connective tissues in the body. Common clinical manifestations of scurvy include weakness, fatigue, joint pain, swollen gums, and impaired wound healing. Recognizing the link between ascorbic acid deficiency and scurvy is crucial to prevent and manage this debilitating condition, highlighting the significance of adequate vitamin C intake in maintaining overall health. Understanding the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of ascorbic acid is essential for its appropriate therapeutic use. Oral ascorbic acid absorption is saturable, and high oral doses may lead to limited bioavailability. Intravenous administration bypasses the gastrointestinal system and achieves higher plasma concentrations rapidly. The elimination half-life of ascorbic acid is relatively short, necessitating frequent dosing to maintain therapeutic levels. Therapeutic applications of ascorbic acid range from its use as an adjunct in wound healing and management of oxidative stress-related disorders to potential cancer treatment strategies. Comprehending how ascorbic acid is absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted is crucial for optimizing therapeutic outcomes. In conclusion, ascorbic acid is an extraordinary molecule with diverse roles in the human body. From its absorption and transport to the complex cellular uptake mechanisms, ascorbic acid is involved in enzymatic and non-enzymatic reactions, oxidation reduction processes, and critical biosynthetic pathways. Its functions extend to collagen synthesis, immune system regulation, neurotransmitter synthesis, and maintaining neuronal health. Understanding the link between ascorbic acid deficiency and diseases like scurvy highlights its importance in maintaining overall health. Finally, comprehending the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of ascorbic acid enables its optimal use in therapeutic applications. As future healthcare professionals, grasping the intricate biochemistry of ascorbic acid is paramount for providing effective patient care and promoting overall well-being.